Hey there everybody. This quick tutorial is going to show you how you can work with Python in VS Code. Before we do that though, let's uh, real quick just go over why you might want to learn Python. Uh, if you're a beginner to development, then it's a great language to pick up and to start with because it's really English-like syntax uh, and it was designed to be concise and easy to read. Uh, personally, I find it about as difficult to learn as working with SQL. Uh, it's an interpreted programming language, meaning as you create code, uh, you're able to uh, see feedback immediately, have lines run and make adjustments. Versatile, small and complex tasks, you can do both. Uh, 125,000 libraries, um, more than that exist, um, available to you that are all part of the public community. Uh, Cross-platform, uh, Windows, Linux, Mac, it will work for all of those. You can mix it in with other programming language. There's JSON and CPython, uh, where there's flavors of uh, Python mixed right in, which makes it also pretty awesome. Uh, high demand, we're going to just take a brief look uh, just at the number of job postings before we get into the tutorial, but average salary of over 110 k um, for working with Python. Uh, supportive community, you can find over 1.5 million GitHub repositories out there leveraging Python and samples that you can see and use and reach out to developers using the language every single day. Uh, three areas that are in high demand using it currently, data science, really was the major driver behind the language's popularity. Uh, you see it used to process large and small data sets, large data sets very efficiently and fast, uh, and those time-saving libraries that are out there um, can make a lot of uh, data analysis uh, done for you uh, pretty awesome pretty quickly. Web development, there's a cool framework, the Django. I have some videos on the Django you might want to check out. Uh, and places like Google um, are using it. Uh, it's used in YouTube uh, for some of their digital uh, frameworks or found, um, infrastructure components. Uh, application development, quicker development time, faster doing prototypes, uh, and also uh, the blockchain realm is uh, picking it up quite a bit. So checking out the jobs out there, you can always go to dice.com. Um, I know this site, many people don't know about it, but a lot of tech jobs and uh, pretty much like to see what's out there for anything and you'll see Python. Uh, so if you're learning Python and you want to know what else you should learn or what roles and jobs are out there using Python, do a quick search. Take a look at these job titles, see what you qualify for, see what other skill sets that you should be working on. Uh, so, moving on from this, where do you get started to using Python in VS Code? Well, the first thing you should do is head over to python.org and make sure you have Python downloaded and installed on your computer because you need the interpreter. Uh, once it's installed and the latest, if you go to the download version uh, page, you can see 3.10.2. And um, once you've installed it, uh, then you can uh, open up the Python tutorial reference, uh, docs.python.org. Uh, check the version that you're on. Make sure it's the one that you have installed when you're reading the documentation. But have that available to you. It'll help you with your development and your coding. Uh, and then one other place, and I'll put all these links in the... Uh, um, the comments for the video uh, is code.visualstudio.com docs forward slash python forward slash python dash tutorial. You can follow along uh, if you wanted to uh, go through a tutorial in addition to uh, this um, quick uh, hello world uh, demonstration I'm going to show you. Uh, this tutorial will do a little bit more with hello world and teach you how to set up your debugger uh, which is really good to have set up in your coding environment. Uh, but for now, um, I already got Python installed, and I'm just going to get started and show you how to get Hello World up and running. If you type command, uh, this is one way. Um, launching your command prompt, I like to start my VS Code because I can establish a workspace, uh, something I've talked about in a previous video before. I'm going to quickly make a, go to my directory of source, where I keep my source code. I'm going to make a directory called Python Hello World. I'm going to change to that directory and then I'm going to launch VS Code by doing code space period. And that will open up a workspace in VS Code in my Python Hello World folder. There's my VS Code, there's my Python Hello World folder. I'm going to create a new file. 
I'm going to call it hello world dot py for a Python file and enter and my editor is going to create it and open it for me. Very simple. Hello world um, in Python is just basically using the print command and then inside of parentheses hello world. What this does is it prints whatever is inside of parentheses and quotation marks because it's a string of text um, out to my terminal. Uh, we're almost ready to go but before I do that I have to actually select my interpreter. Here in Visual Studio Code we go to view and we go to command palette and we're going to do Python select interpreter. I'm going to go with the version I have installed here um, in my app data. This will be a little confusing. Uh, note the versions, note the location. Uh, this will be important when you're choosing your actual interpreter. Um, my latest version um, is Python 3.10. It's the major, not the minor releases that are current. Uh, and it's located in my app data folder. That's where my computer recognizes it and my path recognizes it. So that's the one I'm going to choose. Okay. Now what I can do is right click in my Python file and I can say run Python file in terminal. And there you have it. Hello world writes out to the terminal and my VS Code environment is ready to go. And I can now work with Python and uh, see the benefits of how easy and how powerful the language is to work with. Uh, look for future tut tutorials on working with Python. I hope this gets you off and coding. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, if you have any requests for any topics on Python you'd like covered, you can also put those in the comments. I hope you subscribe to my channel and uh, thank you for watching.